Hi, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to take you through my top five commander cards from Kaldheim. I'm basically going to highlight all of the cards that I think, well, are going to be the most exciting to play, the most fun, and possibly the most powerful. We'll take a look. So before I start, just a little disclaimer that these are just my opinions, and I'm highlighting the cards that I'm most excited to play with and against in Commander. For a little bit of background, I'm quite a spiky player. I usually like my decks to be pretty well optimized so my choices probably reflect this but yeah let's see what i think first of all at number five we've got cosmos elixir i think this card's going to be great in commander as part of a life gain package for white decks you can play it uh, really well alongside well of lost dreams and dawn of hope I think those three cards are going to synergize really well together. If you've got any two of those cards, you're going to be able to get life gain triggers off the Cosmos Elixir, which is then going to help you draw cards with Well of Lost Dreams. The Dawn of Hope is going to be able to trigger as well in that kind of situation if you've got Dawn of Hope and Cosmos Elixir. The life gain from the Dawn of Hope will help power the Well of Lost Dreams. I think this could really help white decks, especially mono white decks, um, in being able to draw more cards, which is something that they have been struggling a little bit with, and I think this is a, a good way of trying to address that. At number four, we've got Pact of the Serpent. This card's actually from the Elven Empire Kaldheim Commander Preconstructed deck, but I think that this is, actually, this is going to have a good chance of being pretty widely played in Commander, especially in black tribal decks, because it basically works as a slightly more powerful, if well, one mana more expensive, Knight's Whisper that's got a decent chance of being able to draw a lot more cards. It's going to be fantastic in Elf Ball decks that need to be able to refuel after dumping their hand of mana dorks. And it is also going to work really well with Lathril, Blade of the Elves, which is also in the Elven Empire uh, Kaldheim Commander precon. And actually, I've got a feeling that this card could end quite a few games with its ability to target any player so you'll be able to use it to kill another tribal player or maybe a tokens player and really show that storm herd player who's boss by just i don't know dealing damage equal to their life total to them at number three we've got orvar the Allform. this is another enter the battlefield commander we've had a few in the last few years like thassa deep dwelling and yarok the desecrated but this one can be used to really supercharge copy spells that target like quasi duplicate and right of replication which is a powerful enough card as it is but this can help it get even more powerful it's going to be great with creatures with powerful enter the battlefield abilities like mole drifter archaeomancer solemn sim relacrum and you can also use it to get a quite a lot more value off of some cantrips. You've got things like open into wonder, making creatures unblockable, and then gives you another creature as well if you've got Orvar on board, or shadow rift and leap, being able to get a decent amount of damage in while also drawing the card and creating another creature. Not too bad. And I've got a feeling that Orvar's deck could be a pretty good home for the new Master of Waves and Mystic Reflection combo, being able to create extra Master of Waves using a card like Shadow Rift with Orvar on the battlefield, and then Mystic Reflection being able to turn all of the tokens created with Master of Waves into another one. Not too shabby. At number two, we've got Realm Walker. And this is going to be fantastic card advantage for any tribal deck playing green. It's basically a one mana cheaper Vizier of the Menagerie that lets you benefit even more from tribal synergies, but being a little more restrictive in that it can only play creatures of the chosen type. It's again going to be fantastic in elf ball decks that can use the elves that you can play off Realm Walker to then power up even more elves from the top of the library. And it's also going to be really powerful with uh, strong cards that can manipulate the top of the deck, like what Treasure Map and the recently reprinted Scroll Rack to be able to let you dig a bit or just manipulate the top so that you can find more creatures to play. At number one, we've got Tybalt's Trickery. This is possibly a little contentious one, partly because of the havoc it's causing in Standard and Modern at the moment. It can be used for similar combos in Commander as well, although probably a lot less consistent being a singleton format. But I think this is going to be really great in Commander just because, well, 
we haven't really seen anything like this before. It's a much better counterspell, I think, than something like Pyroblast, because Tibot's Trickery is a lot more flexible and works in a similar kind of way to Chaos Warp in that it will play something random out of the opponent's deck. But people still play Chaos Warp, even though it's got that downside. But in Commander, that downside's really mitigated because I see this spell as being used mainly to stop a spell that's going to just win the opponent the game there and then. And if you give them another permanent completely randomly, it's not going to really matter because it's not that spell that was going to win them the game. So I think the best card from Cal Time for Commander is going to be Tibbot's Trickery because it just does something completely new. It's got a downside, certainly, but it's a very powerful effect that red doesn't normally have access to. So Tibbot's Trickery gives the color a decent way to deal with permanents or spells that it would normally have difficulty dealing with. So all that's left for me to say is, what do you think of my list? What cards did I miss? What are the cards that you're most excited to play in Commander from Cal Time? And what do you think is going to be the most powerful? Just leave a comment down below because I'd love to hear other people's expectations and or any results you get from spell table games or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.